Anchors up, sells it full. Welcome to the Sloopcast. How are you doing today, Kyle? Doing pretty well. How are you doing, Jared? Doing all right. Doing all right. Not going to complain. Kyle, we actually, yep. you know, we, we had a, we had a pretty light chaos week, week one. But it, no. it came in full force. It yeah. came in full force week two. Yeah, it did. A lot of, a lot of close calls, some upsets here, but let's, let's not waste any time here. Cause we got oh. a lot of games to talk about here. All right. A lot of games to talk about. And then we'll get right into our, our, um, our chart here and, and uh, where where each team goes to. So let's kind of start from the top that we have here, Jared. Oh, what's all? Oh, sorry, I, I switched to the wrong thing again. This is me still being in the lead on the sloop picks. God, I keep accidentally turning this. Oh, man, look at this that. chart on. Gosh. Man. The very professional view, Jared. Yeah. Uh, no, no, still no scores, still no scores in chaos theory. Although I will say, uh, we all got very close, but all, all, yeah. all of these games came down to the wire. Um, Kyle and I chose For Oklahoma those... state to, yep. uh, to be upset by Arkansas. And Kyle, was that game like 28 to nothing at one point? It was at least 21 to nothing at some point in favor of Arkansas. Oklahoma State comes back and, and wins it. Um, Odin had picked K-State to be upset. And that game, again, was incredibly close. Uh, I thought for a for a while that Tulsa was going to win that. Uh, they don't they had some stupid also had some stupid plays down the stretch cost them the game so no scores yet on chaos theory i think there's some good options for week three but we'll we'll take care we'll, we'll talk about that on tuesday yep all right all kyle right. here's um, this is the chart i wanted this is this is the this is, this is the this famous is the this is the right, famous next. tier chart the tier list so, so I, I put in our show, do. I put in our show notes here. Yeah, uh, all the games I want to talk about. So we will cover each of the teams that we have listed up here, based on the based on the games that we got here. So first off, yeah, yeah, um, Team Chaos takes its first soul of the year, or uh, no, no, well, Florida, Florida, Florida State was. Hold that. on, Florida wait, State I'm sorry. What that. did you say, Kyle? Did you say Florida State? Yeah. Now, Florida State's currently sitting at B on our tier list. Um, now, because of the goofy way the schedule and our, our schedule and the game schedule lined up last week, this is where we left them because we had not yet seen yeah. their second loss when mm -hmm. we made this tier list last. That is correct. Yeah. So they go... All the way down. They are the first team to go down into M tier. Our first M tier entrance. Yes. Austin says Michigan to M tier or ban uh, for the ban and the loss. I don't care if it's the correct thing to do or not. Not not yet. Not yet, not Austin. Yet. It'll come. It'll come. It'll come. All right. Notre Dame. Notre Dame losing to... Northern Illinois. I think Notre Dame was a 28 and a half point favorite in that game here. Uh, man, that's, that's, that's tough. Now, do they deserve to go to M tier? No, no, they, they I bumped them all the way from our S tier all the way down to B tier. I think I B agree tier because, because they can still win out if they, if they somehow win out that they're, they're, they're a playoff team. So they, 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 they can still finish in the top 12, which is all they have to that's, do. That's what well, they need the top to do. 11. Yes. So S tier down to B tier, I top think 11. is makes, makes the perfect sense here. But once again, to correct myself, top 11, not top 12. All right. Uh, let's see. Uh, Louisville, which I think I don't even know where, where do we have Louisville at? Are they even, we still have Louisville down in C tier, which I think we should correct. I think, I think we should move Louisville up to B tier and, and 
because we're going to be moving a bunch of teams around. We are. I think Louisville C to B tier makes sense. They beat beat up Jacksonville State that, as they should, forty nine to fourteen. Yeah. Now, Kyle, a real quick question: You talked about Notre Dame, but you didn't mention who Notre Dame lost to. Yeah, I did. I said Northern Illinois. Okay, you mentioned it. I didn't mention it. But should we talk about NIU on the playoff bubble? Remember, we have to have one group of five conference champion in the playoffs. Do you even have Northern Illinois on here? Uh, I added them before the show started because I'm a goddamn (laughs) professional. (laughs) Ah. I don't feel comfortable putting them up to B tier. I understand what you're saying. Let me give me a couple of weeks to see how, how, how well they do. I just, I'm not there yet with Northern Illinois. Yes. Great win on the road in order in Notre Dame. What did they do? Week one? There, but what did yeah, they do? I, week one. I don't know what they did. Week one. Do you want me to look it up? Look it up, Kyle. Look it up. Boom, boom. We haven't done that in a minute. That's also not going to come through on the, on the noise gate, but that's okay. I just haven't done that in a while and I wanted to do it. That's it. I just wanted to do it. Let's see. They beat Western Illinois. Okay. But was it, was it decisive? Yeah. 54 to 15. Kyle. Huskies at B tier. No, not yet. All right. Not yet. Not yet. I disagree, but we'll we'll move forward. All right. Uh, the battle. They're definitely the high C. The, They're definitely yeah. high C, Zach. I agree. Uh, the battle for the Cy Hawk. Man, Hawkeyes. Yeah. Hawkeyes should have won that, but but Cyclones came back and got that last second field goal there. I I got I got to put. I got to put the uh, Hawkeyes down, I agree. down C tier right now. I completely agree. Zach, did, did you just I- give the up arrows his- to your own comment? <laughs> he did. Is Iowa really chaos if it's Iowa? Yeah. They were a ranked team. They lost to an unranked team. They qualify as chaos, I would say. I didn't put them in the thumbnail. Yep. Although, so, you know. <laughs> All right, uh, for what Utah, it's worth. Utah uh wins wins by eleven points against Baylor. Well, Utah stays where they're at. I just want to mention that they had a they had a close yeah, yeah. win, which there are there are a number of other teams that came out with a close win here. So Utah yeah. stays where they're at. Georgia takes care care of business over um Tennessee Tech. So they they stay they stay where they're at. And we and we Texas. talked about the Ohio State game in our uh, Monday episode. You can go listen to our thoughts about that. Uh, and just mm-hmm. for the sake of saying it, in case this is someone's first trip into a collegiate chaos episode here at the Sloopcast, the tiers are tiers. They are not. I this just because Ohio State is the first team in the S tier does not mean that they we have them number one. The the tiers are the tiers. They are not ranked within the tiers. Just tossing that out there. All right. Texas. Texas heading on over, heading on up to Ann Arbor and just absolutely demolishes them. Utter domination. Michigan, Michigan Michigan gets a, gets a scrappy uh, late touchdown to to get over 10 points in the game. They're already in S tier, Zach. They're there. They started the season in S tier for us. We, we, we knew you can go listen to our sloop picks episode on Friday. We laughed our asses off when we heard that, or no, that, that would have been last week's, um, cleats chaos. When we heard that the line opened at two and a half, we laughed our asses off immediately. It almost immediately went up to seven and a half, but it opened at two and a half, which was ridiculous. I still yeah. put money on it. I broke rule number two. I, re- I real life gambled. <laughs> That's how sure I was. <laughs> 31 to 12. 31 to 12. Michigan has some real big, big issues on the offense. 
big issues. Yeah. <laughs> Kyle, their, their offense is one big issue. Um, by the way, Texas passed uh, Ohio State in the AP. O- Ohio State falls number three in the AP. Texas yeah. moves up to number two. It doesn't, doesn't fucking matter. matter. It doesn't matter. No, don't care. And, 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 and you know what? They, they, Michigan, even so, if Michigan didn't deserve to be the, number 10, they were. The more, Texas got a top 10 victory. Question. They moved up a spot. It's fine. More important question. Does Michigan move down from B tier? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. They're not they making go to the C playoffs. for now. Yep, they go to C for now. I know that we had someone in the chat here said Michigan to M tier. Kind of, kind of like, kind of like Northern Illinois. Just, just give it some time. <laughs> we, we, we don't just like to, we it. don't like to take wild swings on, on, on our depth chart. We like to keep things smooth. We don't like to be Florida prisoners State, you just of the drop two. Hey, we, we waited until they got a second loss before we dropped we them. We did. Yes. All right. Um. We're going to go ahead and take a quick ad break and we're going to go ahead and continue some of these uh, other games here. So head on over to the sloopcast.com, our, our main page here to check out all of the different links to our YouTube page, to our Discord server, to over to uh, Patreon to become a patron, um, patreon.thesloopcast.com. Uh, if you want to support the podcast here, head on over there and a lot of other merch store information and other nifty links there again the sloopcast.com is the landing page to find all those links so we'll go ahead and uh, take a quick ad break and be right back what's the next game kyle next game is kansas state with the narrow victory yeah, over yeah. the green wave of Tulane, 34 to 27 the two lane. I think Kansas State, wave. Kansas State, Kansas State stays at B tier. I, I still yep. don't think they're the 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 top team for the Big Twelve here. So they 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 say where they're at B tier. Yeah, but you know if we if we uh, Tulane deserves to move up just for that. I have them pretty high up in the C tier again. I know I said the tier list is the tier list, but you can kind of see with with the B and the C specifically that. We kind of put the better teams over on the left. So you can see we have NIU over on the left and we have Tulane over on the left. Um, they're not meant to be like, it's not meant to be a hard rating, but it's, it's more of a tool to help me find teams when we're supposed to be talking about teams. Um, but yeah, no, I, I, I would keep an eye on Tulane. Honestly, I yep. would keep an eye on Absolutely. Tulane. I think they Absolutely. You know, they have to make they just have to make waves in their own conference. Which could lead to them getting in the playoffs. So 100 percent keeping an eye on Tulane. I'm just trying to pull up the stats for this next game here. Uh, Georgia Tech uh, losing to Syracuse. Uh, Syracuse jumped out. I think it was like 21 to 7. I think it was in the second quarter and Georgia tech made it very interesting in the, uh, in the fourth quarter, but Syracuse with Kyle McCord, uh, take, uh, pulls out the victory. Kyle McCord just playing, playing at lights out so far this year. I think he's 700 around 750 yards and eight touchdowns through two games already. I mean, change the scenery. Hats did him him. Good. Hats off. That's tough to him. I'm, I'm happy he's doing he's doing well. And he found a he found, also a, say, he found a he found a home. I'll say this. Putting up statistics was never his issue at Ohio State. Just for what it's worth, that was not he mm-hmm. put up statistics at Ohio State. That wasn't that wasn't the issue. Yeah. Um, now, 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 here's, now we here's currently the, have here, here's the question. Here's the question. Does Syracuse move up? Does, Syracuse does move Georgia up Tech move down? We have Georgia Tech sitting yeah. in B tier. We have Syracuse sitting in C tier. It only feels right that we swap them. I think it feels right that we swap them. Yes, we do. But I'm saying Georgia Georgia Tech started off really strong, beating beating Florida State. But, but is that Florida State? Is that Florida <laughs> State win all that great anymore? That's yeah, that, that Florida. You know, sure when you're the first team that does it, but when you're the second team, you know. <laughs> All right, uh, let's see. Penn State. Man, Penn State. 
escapes. Comes back, comes back yeah. from behind to beat the Falcons of Bowling Green. Oh, I should I should have my hat out. Oh well. Uh beats beats <laughs> Bowling Green 34 to 20 hat. 34 to 27. And and and, and here's the thing. Uh, should we should we drop Penn State? Bowling Green was in this not not like they were very efficient against Penn State in that first half. It wasn't a it wasn't a just a fluke that they were leading at halftime. No, but it was I not. mean, hats off to half hats off to Penn State that they shut down Bowling Green in the second half and uh, uh, pulled out the victory here. But yes, to Jared's question here, does Penn State drop from A to B tier? I I, I say I, right now, in my opinion. They're not better than Tennessee or Missouri. Yeah. I I, I think to keep, I, again, if this is anyone's first, if this is anyone's first uh, Collegiate Chaos episode, the, com- the combination of S and A tier is our playoff prediction and therefore must equal 12 teams. To put someone into A tier, we have to bring someone out of A tier. Or, you know, again, the combination of S and A has to equal 12. It doesn't matter how many is an S and how many is an A, but they have to so, combine for 12. So I'm going to say for this week, I know they, they looked really good uh, week one against West Virginia, but they, they, needed, they needed to take care of business on, at home. Uh, against Bowling Green here, and, West Virginia, and with other, and, and with other teams that did really well, um, in these first couple of weeks here, I'm, I'm going to say I'm going to say drop Penn State to B tier, but they're they're right there on that cusp of of A and B tiers. But for for our rankings for week two, Penn State goes down to B tier, but they're they're on that cusp there. All right. Uh, <laughs> do you want to have the conversation uh, I, I, now I of who we move up to? We'll, we'll get it. We'll, 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 we'll get there. We'll get there. I want to go we'll through the there. rest of the games here. Okay. Uh, Oklahoma State beats Arkansas. I thought Arkansas was going to win that game, but our, uh, Oklahoma State in two overtimes beat, beats uh, Arkansas there. I think kind of like Penn State, I think Oklahoma State's right on that cusp there of A and B tier, but I, I would... I feel comfortable comfortable keeping Oklahoma State in B tier for for week two. I don't I don't like Arkansas and I, I don't I don't I don't I don't like Oklahoma State. I I don't think they're on the cusp of A at all. That's to fine. be honest with you. I all right. Um Ole Miss. Ole Miss takes care of business over middle Tennessee. They still yeah. look like a really good team. They yeah. stay in A tier. Miami takes care of business over Florida A and M. Wherever Miami's at, they they stay where they're at. Yeah, uh, I I would say they're, yeah they're they're a solid A tier team right now. Um, Missouri, I think I think I saw Missouri as a B tier. Uh, shuts out Buffalo thirty eight nothing. That's fine. The fighting fighting. Let's not, let's not that's fine past that. Let's not that's fine past that, Kyle. Missouri, along with Tennessee, we need to have the conversation. Which one of them moves up into A tier? We moved well, Penn was, State out. I'm gonna. Uh, I was gonna wait until we talked about Tennessee here, which I, okay. I, I guess I'll, I'll I'll skip ahead here. So, Tennessee, um, I want to say struggled against NC State because NC State has a pretty good defense, but I, I knew I knew if this if this game was close and NC state wasn't putting up points that Tennessee with the talent that they have would just, just pull away from NC state. And they, they, they did. did that. And what they did that and more against NC state. They, I, yeah, they I, NC I state don't want to one to 10. I don't want to use the word struggle anywhere in there. It's just like, no, no, it's NC state stuck with them for a bit. And then that was the end mm-hmm. of that. I, that, that's 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 the argument I think here, Zach. Uh, ten, Tennessee Tennessee should go to A, says Zach here, and I would say so based on what what I've seen so far from Missouri and Tennessee. If we're looking at these two teams to go up to A tier, I 
I I would say just based on what what the results were and who they played, I'd put Tennessee up to A tier right now. Now, Kyle, I know I'm skipping ahead again, and I know you keep getting mad at me for doing that, and I apologize. Who deserves to be an A tier more right now? Oregon or Missouri? Because I don't think the answer that's, is Oregon. That's a, that's a good. That's a good point. Well, let's talk about the Oregon game. Oregon, uh, was that last second or it was near near? I don't know if it was last second field goal or near the near the end with a few seconds left. But Oregon wins off a field goal, thirty seven thirty four over Boise State. But yeah, this that's that's a that's a great great question here. Should and should Oregon struggled in week one as well? Yeah, I I. I'd say do it like yeah. based on what we've seen here. Yeah. Oregon falls down to B tier like with Penn, like with Penn state, even though they've won two games here, they Oregon has not looked how they should. They should have been dominating both, both of their games so far this year and they have not. And there's other teams that have. So yeah, I would say Missouri would go up there now. Looking at that, you 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 see six SEC teams up there Dude, right now. <laughs> Kyle, Kyle, look at the AP right now. Uh huh. Yeah. Go. No, I I understand. Yeah, four of the top five are are SEC. No, SECs. keep going. Yeah, keep going. Six of the top seven. Six of the top seven. Yeah, are SEC teams. And here's the thing: they aren't wrong. No, Should Penn State not. drop as well? We already dropped Penn State. Yep, we we dropped Penn State to B tier. Yeah. Uh. Yeah, Illinois, we just we just you... dropped two Big Ten teams into B tier and we moved two SEC teams up. Um in the battle between the power two right now, the SEC is winning. Now that being said, it's week two. So let's not Agreed. overreact to that. Yep. All right. Um Illinois defeats Kansas 23 to 17. It's a it's a great win for for the University of Illinois there, defeating at 19th ranked yeah. Kansas. I I dropped I dropped Kansas down to C tier. I agree. I 100% agree. I don't even think that's debatable. Um mm-hmm. now the question is and I'm going to say no to this, but I'm going to ask it anyway. But why don't you ask it after this next ad, ad break here? So we're going to take our second ad dirty. break real quick it's here. Dirty. And it's a uh, dirty ad break. <laughs> and we'll be, we'll be right back. That was a filthy tease, Kyle. <laughs> filthy. All right. Now, now ask your question. Yeah, well, here's the thing, though. It's not going to live up to that. The The tease <laughs> is better. The tease is better than the question. That's the problem, because you're just going to say no to me right away. Do we move right, Illinois? Well, up they, and, well, then we'll move on if I'm, I'm, I'm going to say no. No, I still so have to ask it. On. I still have to pay. I still have to pay it off. All right. Do we move Illinois up into B? No. Yeah, no. No, no, no. no. No, you see, it didn't live up to the, the tease was better than the payoff. You gave me like half a second thought about it, but no. Uh, LSU uh, defeats Nichols 44 21. This was a this was a closer game than it should have been. As This as was a, a bad game for LSU. It was. I I'm not saying we move LSU down to beat or down to C tier. But I. I am going to move them over here to the edge of B tier. <laughs> I know I said that the tier list is the tier list and yada, yada, yada. 14 to 23 at halftime. Uh, or uh, I'm sorry, 23 to 14, yeah, 23 to 14 at halftime. By lot, the way, a lot closer than it should have been. We talked about Oregon. We probably should have talked about Boise while we were talking about Oregon. Boise is still currently sitting in our B tier. I say we leave them. I, yeah, we, we leave them there too. Like they're again, there has to the, be the, the one good, team. The good thing about these, there has to be one team from the group of five. This does not affect Boise's yeah. opportunity no, to win doesn't. their conference. And, and and that's the good thing about a lot of these non-conference games is for most of these teams, it doesn't really do much for them. It doesn't really do much. Like look at Texas. Texas this is a perfect example for Texas. Great win on the road against Ann Arbor. Or up in Ann Arbor, but it, in the end, it doesn't really matter too much, especially if it comes to the seating. 
the seeding for Texas. Like Texas, Texas is a playoff team as long as they don't uh, lay an egg the rest of the rest of the year here. But in terms of where where they're going to be ranked at, yeah, absolutely, this is going to be a uh, uh, this this get the game did not matter. The game did I, not I, matter. I hope that the I hope that this leads to more high profile out of conference games because mm-hmm. I agree again at the end of the day Boise losing to Oregon doesn't actually hurt their playoff chances yeah. and technically of course Michigan sucks anyway but like losing to Texas doesn't really affect their playoff chances that bad um, no same thing with Clemson and you know some other teams that have lost some high profile out of conference games early yep all right, um, I'm going to try to finish the rest of these games here. Uh, Alabama beat South Florida convincingly 42-16. You know, it looks convincingly, but if you watch that football game, South Florida was in that for a while. They I, were, um, I'm, trying to, I'm trying to pull it up real quick. That final they, score does not do, tell the tale remember. of that game. You're, you are right. It was, actually, Jared, yeah, it was... 14-13, Alabama going into the fourth quarter. Yeah. Alabama scored a You're ton right. of you points right. in the fourth. You are right. You are right. But I, I, I still have them. I still have them a favorite to win. Just, I mean, they they have such a stellar, uh, they have such a stellar uh, uh, team. So, so, like, like Oregon, so, like Oregon. So, but so, I, th- I think they kind of further, I think they kind of further themselves a little bit from Georgia, Ohio State, and Texas right now. I think there's a top three. Yeah, um, as, as we've mentioned before the season started, there's 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 your top three. Well, we you had a top maybe, four. It's just that well, Oregon yeah, but, hasn't lived up to being in that top four. So we're now talking about a top three. Um, yeah. I, quite frankly, I don't know if I want Bama in, in S tier anymore. I don't see them as a force right now. Maybe that's an overreaction to one game against it, USF. But, it might it might be, but let's. We can have a discussion next week. We'll, we'll, we'll see. Actually, I don't know if Alabama plays next week. There's a lot of teams that. There's a play. lot of teams not playing next we'll, week. We'll, 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 we'll talk more about it next week. Uh, Oklahoma squeaks out that win against Houston, sixteen to twelve. Not a good showing for Oklahoma. Yeah, I mean they they still stay in B tier, to me. Yeah, I'm not but, dropping them down to C tier, uh, but you and I am going to do. I'm going to put them over here with LSU, though. <laughs> I agree. I I would definitely agree with that. It's you look at the other SEC teams that's that's above them. You got that has you you're Georgia, absolutely right, Texas, Kyle. That has Alabama, to be taken into Missouri, consideration. Ole Miss and Tennessee ahead of them. Yeah, SEC is stacked this year. SEC oh, is stacked. We haven't talked about it. We. We talked about Tennessee. We didn't talk about NC State, um, who Tennessee beat. Uh, did they drop down to C tier after getting walloped by Tennessee? They weren't competitive, Kyle. Yeah, I, w- I would say, yeah. Put a, Yeah, NC State go down to C tier as well. Yeah. Bama has a bye week next week, then goes to Madison on 9-14. No, 9-14 That's would next be week. next week. Yeah, that's Bama right. That's right. To, Bama, Bama, Wisconsin is next week. Yes, I forgot. I forgot that that was next week. Yeah. I looked up the weather for that, by the way, 77 degrees, which means Bama's is winning by 30. Yep. Not not cold enough. Yeah. NC State can go down to a C tier. Yep. All right. Um, Clemson. Beats Appalachian State 66 to 20. Good doesn't do anything for me to move Clemson Clemson up after their humiliating loss in, in week one. That doesn't I I just can't put any um I mean we have to put one um ACC team it's in Miami the, <laughs> in the playoffs, but it's yeah, Miami. It's, it's Miami right now. Yeah. Yeah. It, uh, honestly, I, I it, put, it, not not that I think Syracuse is necessarily all that great, but you know, I think they've had some good games against some they have. not great teams, but the I put Syracuse get, in before before I put Clemson yeah. in there right now. The last two games here, Arizona uh, beats Northern Arizona twenty two to ten. Not a good showing for Arizona. 
Nope. Uh, I think they go against the back end of, of B tier. The Northern Montana, excuse me, Northern Arizona Lumberjacks. Yeah. I think they kind of distance themselves in B tier. They kind of move back towards the back there after after week two's showing here. And then USC shutting out U, uh, Utah State 48 to nothing. I know, I know Utah State isn't a, a powerhouse. However, if you've seen USC's defense play defense any time in the past two or so years, you know that shutting out literally anybody is a huge deal. Yeah, so... so. Good, good, yeah, good watch on, out, watch good out. on USC. Watch out for USC. Definitely watch out for USC here. Kyle, I'm liking, I'm liking the, the tier list. My question for you, however, we got Coastal Carolina. We, we have 11 in here. I wouldn't even know who they played. Who did Dan, they wait play? a minute. You're right. Do we only have 11? We only have 11 because I think we took who two did? down. We took three. We had to. Oh, Notre Dame. Yeah. We took Oregon, Penn State, and Notre Dame down. So do we want to move they played, Oregon, Nebraska? They, they played William and Louisville Mary Tribe, forty, and they won 40 to 21. I mean, who, 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 else, who else would you... Boise. I think Coastal Carolina. I think Coastal Carolina. You you keep there, Boise for right now. But but who? Do, yeah, who do you move up to? Boise. Who do you move up to A tier? Boise. Oh, you want to swap Boise and Coastal Carolina? Even though Coast, Coastal Carolina is two and zero, oh and Boise is one and one. Yeah, and Boise took Oregon, who we have. Mark- I understand. I understand. Okay, I but understand. let me let me say it anyway because we're recording a show here. <laughs> Boise took one of the teams that's we at least in the preseason had Oregon as a favorite to win it all, and they took them to a field goal. But I can't I can't put I can't put Boise in A tier when Oregon is sitting in B tier. Well, I mean technically. We have 11. We can put Oregon back and then swap. And by the way, yes, you can. Because one of them is getting in in that 12th. Boise would be getting in on that 12th spot. It is what it is, Kyle. It's, it, it's you know, it's, 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 it's like college basketball. There are bubble teams who we all yeah. know are yeah, better yeah, go, than conference go ahead, go ahead champions and, who are going to make it. Go, go, go ahead and put Oregon. Go ahead and put Oregon back in at the tail end of a tier. Oregon's back in. Yep. Because I'm looking, I'm looking at who else, who else would go into A tier? Is it, is it, um, Oklahoma State? No. You you could, Kansas State? No. Oklahoma? I agree. I mean, I mean, those are, those are really the only other teams I can really, that I have on my list that you can really talk about. I, I think a team that's really, I think I was just, God, Jared. <laughs> I think a t- I think a team that's really making some noise here again. Let, let's let's see them uh, play some really good competition here coming up. But Nebraska uh, looking really strong so far. Uh, they beat UTEP forty to seven. So yeah, on Colorado. Keep an eye. Keep it. Keep an eye. Keep an eye on Nebraska. Yeah, and they beat Colorado. Yeah. So. <sighs> keep Their keep Nebraska and beat here against Colorado. They, 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 Nebraska stays in B tier, but uh, keep an eye, keep an eye on them. Okay. But once again, Coastal Carolina. I will say, I will say if we're going off the, if we're, if Jared, if, if, if we're going Memphis? off the AP, if we are going off of the AP, we're not Northern Illinois. You wouldn't even let me put them in B tier, Kyle. I know. You know, you know, go ahead and put Northern Illinois in B tier. Let's put them in B tier. Can we talk let's about show them some, what are, let's let's show that let's show them that some love. Let's show listen, them some love. Northern Illinois, the Huskies Northern Illinois to beat Northern Indiana. That the, they deserve some credit for that. Um, what about Memphis? I said Missouri earlier. I meant to say Memphis. 
What has Mumfis done? You 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 you, 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 you tell me. You tell me. Listen, I'm just saying there's a, they're, they're, they're a group of five team to keep an eye out on. I'm not saying they have some in sort of insane resume right now. You're not going to find a lot of group of five teams with an insane resume right now. I'm just saying that they're a group of five team to keep an eye on. Sure. Sure. That's all I'm saying. So Northern Illinois is, and again, this is based on the AP. Northern Illinois is 25th. Boise... Boise State is um, has is a few points behind them, not ranked, and then right behind them is um, Memphis that Jared just mentioned mentioned about, and Liberty is on there as well. So, I think it's fine. And, and inter- interesting enough, Jared, Coastal Carolina is not doesn't even have any votes from the AP. This is what I'm saying. Like, I kind of don't want Coastal Carolina up there. And it's not because of the AP. It's just because I don't want, I don't think they deserve what's it. Say, That's all. What say you, Also, Zach? I just moved, I just moved Memphis up too. All right. What say you, Zach? Do you, do you have a preference of which uh, group Boise. of five or group of six, whatever the number is right now? <laughs> no, we didn't add the Pac-12 to it. There's only two teams in there. It's still the group of five. <laughs> You know, the more I'm thinking about it, like we we should reward, we should reward Northern Illinois. Yeah, now we're talking more, more for for their victory there. Now we're talking Northern Huskies. Illinois over over Boise State just because they are undefeated over Boise State. I mean, I I still think it should be Boise, but if we're gonna put the Huskies into A tier, I'm down. <laughs> I'd like to wait on Northern. See, I, I I actually agree. Zach says I would say Boise. I'd like to wait on Northern Illinois. I actually agree. I see. I like I, neither of you are wrong. I think you both have good logic. At the end of the day, though, Northern Illinois got their upset and Boise didn't. I'm, I'm just happy to see a Mac team up there, though. See, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> that's let's what I'm let's saying. just keep it. Let's just keep a Mac team up there. Just just because. Just because, Jerry. Listen, if we put a different team, a different group of five team into the A tier every single week, I'm not going to be upset about it. <laughs> all, right, all right. That's all the games. That's all the games I care about talking about here. Uh, we got a, just a few questions here and we'll go ahead and wrap it up. Uh, Zach asks, does Oregon suck? They are currently <laughs> disappointed. They are struggling. They don't suck, they, but they are struggling. They they are not living up to expectations. They are below expectations. Go. That's not to say that they can't get better as the season goes. We are only two weeks in. I I hereby promise not to overreact two weeks of college football. Um, that being said, they are not currently living up to expectations. I'm not going to say that they suck yep. quite yet. And Kabuto asks, should they change the rule? to allow every player to have coach to player comms. Why or why not? I'm going to say, no, it's just, you don't want too many, you don't want too many cooks in the kitchen there. You, you don't. I mean, the comms are only going one way. It just lets everyone hear it. Um, I maybe, 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 maybe not everybody, but maybe you could have multiple, like you can have like, I don't know, three. Or something uh, yeah, like but, that. But it's especially, also like especially especially on the defensive side. You can have like yeah. one for the defensive line, linebackers, and secondary. Yeah, here's a problem with the defense, because you have so much like what on the offense, like your quarterback's your quarterback, your quarterback's in the game, yeah. right? At, at Ohio yeah. State, just uh, and maybe this is what spurred Kabuto's question. You had like Cody Simon in there with the green sticker doing stuff, but then Cody Simon came out. So then they had to do like a helmet swap with Sonny Styles because he had to take on the green sticker. So that's just kind of a pain in the ass, right? Um, yeah. I almost feel like you sh- you should be able to have maybe not all 11. Like three. But you like should three. have multiples on the defense. I think you should have yeah. multiples on the defense. I-, I would agree with that. Again, just right. to avoid the the BS stuff of like oh our guy with the green sticker came out who wants to deal with that shuffles yeah yeah 
All right, that is it. That is um, all of the games. That is all of the questions. Um, week two, um, Team Chaos took some souls here. And yeah, I, I, I think even though week three, looking at week three here, there's not many great games, but I, th- I think there could be some, there could be some upsets here. We'll talk, I, we'll I talk have, more about that on Friday's episode. You will, uh, yeah, we'll talk about that on Friday's episode. Um, I, I have an, I have my eye on a couple chaos theory picks. Right. We'll, we'll, we'll save eyes. that for Friday. Oh yeah. Yeah. One, you, 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 the Kyle, this is a tease. I'm a professional. Remember? Yes. Yes. I'm very professional. Th- th- this recording session, other recording sessions, not so much. This one, high professional, highly professional, extremely professional. So that's just a tease. I think there's a chaos theory. Um, opportunities next week for sure all right kyle uh do you have anything in kyle's corner you know i've been looking and no i don't <laughs> <laughs> i i don't there there wasn't really much of anything i was looking to see if there was really any like any recruits for that came this this weekend there's there's a, there's a few um there was a few four-star uh, players for the 2026 class and some others for beyond that as well, but nothing nothing big in terms of for the 2025 class here. 2025 so. class kind of done. Yeah, 2025 is kind of done. Yeah. I, I think we talked about this at the end of one of our episodes last week, so forgive me for repeating myself, but... They're probably they might have to replace offered at corner. Um, you know, maybe go get Brew or one of the other guys you missed on who maybe didn't want to come here because the re- recruiting class at corner was a little crowded. Maybe you persuade one of the two guys who went to Oregon to come to Ohio State, especially if Oregon's not looking all that good. Um mm-hmm. So you might have some cornerback recruiting to do. You might have some offensive, like maybe add, if you can add a really good piece, I don't want to add a body just to add a body at offensive line. But if you can, if you can flip uh, a really high profile tackle uh, along the offensive line, you know, you, you're going to keep working all of those relationships the best you can. But for the most part, the recruiting class feels kind of done for 2025 already. It's yep. it feels now again, like we have new recruiting caps next year. So maybe it's not maybe. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. You know, the, the recruiting numbers changed. So who knows? Maybe. Who knows? Maybe. Yeah. But yeah, we'll see. Uh, it's already shaping out to be a classic Rose Bowl Big Ten championship game right now. USC is so back. Yeah. C- should we just move the will that make the Rose Bowl people happy if we just move the Big Ten championship game to Pasadena? That's going to happen eventually, right? Even if it, even if it's not permanent, like they'll do like one year in Indianapolis, one year in Pasadena, something like that. You say yes excitedly, Zach, but I I don't want it to be in Pasadena. Nope. I'd much rather play it in Indianapolis or the Bears are talking. Chicago. The Bears are talking about either covering Soldier Field or building a new stadium. Um, that would be ideal to me. But you're not going to play that outside. I don't think they're not going to choose to play that game outside. Uh, no, they won't. They won't. So not. until not that happens, summer. so in, so until there's an indoor facility in Chicago that isn't Northwestern's practice facility, uh, you will continue to see that game. I would say played in Indianapolis for the foreseeable future, maybe with an, you know one offs here or there in Pasadena. I'd I'd be pissed if they did a permanent move or even a 50-50 move to Pasadena, though. That would suck, in my opinion. 
but again, you get you get you get a covered stadium in Chicago. Now we're talking. Yep. All right, Kyle. Uh, that's it. That's the end of today's show. Um, Indy is center. It's center, and it's also like nobody's home. I know Bloomington's not that far from Indianapolis, so, but also Indiana sucks, so who cares? But it feels it feels central but neutral. All right. Anyway, end of the show. End of the show. Uh, tonight's ending music, uh, Columbus based band called The Vessels. Name of that band again is The Vessels. So, so with all that being said, I'd like to encourage everyone to drink local beer, listen to local music, and of course, support your local podcasters. Once again, these are The Vessels. <laughs>